hi guys welcome back to the commentary commentary channel where i bring you commentary when commentary is due so today we're doing a video on anastasia beverly hills norvina the black lives matter movement creators speaking out against them overall what's been going on for the past 10 days in regards to this brand and i'm bringing you guys a full breakdown of everything so this video might be a little bit longer than the usual videos that i do but it's going to be a good video so get your snacks get your drinks and settle down because it's it's a lot So I wanted to begin this video by starting at the very beginning before we get into the part where the creators are speaking out. So on the 25th of May, George Perry Floyd Jr. was an African American man who was killed by police during an arrest in Minneapolis and protests in response to both Floyd's death and more broadly to police violence against other black people quickly spread across the United States and internationally. During the time that people were protesting, during the time that people were speaking out and people were really outraged, deservedly so, a lot started happening. It was almost like a trickle down effect because people started looking more closely to the people that support them to the brands that they support and everything else so on social media everybody started showing the support the black lives matter hashtag started trending again people were sharing these stories of police brutality a lot of people were sort of like um pitching in and donating to causes a lot of people were signing petitions so a lot of people started really side eyeing a lot of brands who were keeping quiet a lot of influencers who were keeping quiet and not saying much about the movement a lot of people who were too afraid to speak out in, in case they could lose like sponsorships and stuff like that so a lot of people were really looking at everybody else and saying hey what are you doing in regards to because you can see what's going on like what are you doing on the 27th 28th and 29th and up until the 30th of may including norvina both of those accounts were posting normally right and then people so slowly started asking questions they were like guys what's going on why are you got why aren't you guys saying anything about this you know this is going on why why aren't you guys say anything so i'm just gonna read you guys a couple of tweets of people who are asking questions right around the 30th of may asking why the brand hasn't said anything why they haven't responded and why they're acting as if everything is perfectly normal so the first one was you guys have an audience of 20 plus million on ig and almost 1 million on here which is twitter and you can't even so little as tweet a hashtag a link to a donation page nothing do better y'all fave is talking about chewy art sets while we are fighting for our lives her name is norvina you know the one that took over anastasia beverly hills made a trash and only spoke up a couple of times during this at norvina i know you did your part and hope you can continue to but right now anastasia beverly hills as a brand needs to reflect that please nudge your social media team and more importantly i'm gonna repeat a past request please train your communications team with the help of a pro please and thank you another one said norvina needs to take note Anastasia Beverly Hills is tone deaf as ever, continuing to tweet about makeup goals. These appropriating Kardashian wannabe paint slap brands need to stop. A lot of the creators in the beauty community, especially the smaller creators, started tweeting about it. They were really saying a lot, but not saying a lot. A lot of them started looking at the company in a funny way because they weren't saying anything at all. And then finally, on the 1st of June, after getting so much, you know, shade and getting so and being called out so much, Norvina. Uh, posted a thread on her Twitter and she said years of support for all creators of all races sexual orientation religion and follower size which was unheard of by large brands doing everything we can to make beauty inclusive back to our first photo campaign in 2012 featuring a black model for our holiday palette she continued on to say 
and it's even a question if we support the black community i'm speechless and then the last part she said long-term sponsor of drag race and the lgbtq community and really after she made that thread people were enraged and rightfully so because she took that moment in instead of her saying hey we're still working on logistics in the back end we're gonna get back to everyone we're still gonna post about it she went on to be defensive and say how dare you guys i've had a black model in my pictures i'm not racist i'm not this i'm not that which was a very bad bad horrible response especially in the climate that we are in now especially when everybody is like watching you that's literally the last thing that you want to say so people in that three started responding and they were saying are you saying because you had one black model in a campaign that you are being supportive stupid and then another response was where did your tweets go that's crazy so after she started getting backlash she deleted the whole tweet um the whole thread because she realized okay maybe just maybe i fucked up and then on the same day on the first of she came back with a statement that was posted on her personal Twitter and on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Instagram that read Anastasia Beverly Hills stands in solidarity with the black community. We are pledging $1 million towards the systematic racism, oppression and injustice. This weekend we began with a donation of a hundred thousand dollars across the following organizations black lives matter the innocence project the naacp legal defense and education fund black visions collective and the marshall project we are taking the time internally to discuss new initiatives that we that will financially support black owned businesses and artists in the beauty industry. When the details have been finalized, we will announce the process for submission or nomination and we will update you monthly on recipients. We vow to remain constant and vocal supporters of equality. We vow to remain constant and vocal supporters of equality. We vow to use our platform and our privilege to amplify the voices of the mar marginalized groups and that deserve to be heard. Thank you to the community for being continued source of inspiration and accountability. Hashtag Black Lives Matter, Anastasia Beverly Hills. So obviously she came back and then they donated a million dollars. So um, in my brief stint, in the beauty community i can tell you that if there was one brand i trusted it was anastasia beverly hills not only because of obviously their product and everything else but because they were giving a lot of smaller creators an opportunity to be out there so when they first launched the quote-unquote list they were giving a lot of smaller um creators a chance to really have a platform and be seen because they were sending all of these people product really um investing in their dream in a way and they were giving them opportunity to be seen by more people so the whole list thing created a great way for smaller creators to be seen by other people and to really go forward in their whole makeup journey while a lot of people the whole list thing is very controversial on one hand you have creators who are getting these products who are getting their dreams realized who are getting recognized by a brand that they love on the other hand a lot of people are arguing that this was just free pro promo for the brand because they were sending uh these products to nano influencers and all of that stuff but anyway for the people who are outraged they were outraged because these are people of color who've been supporting this brand these are people of color that were supporting this brand that were gay that were trans that were black that were people of color these are the people that usually never got to have a solid platform in such a competitive industry and anastasia beverly hills was really contributing to giving these people a platform so for the for this marginalized group to be going through so much with 
police brutality and everything and to have a brand that they trust and a brand that they look up to not respond obviously people were outraged and rightfully so but after they released that statement a lot of people were giving them props a lot of people were saying hey that's great i'm finally i'm i'm glad that you're showing up and you're doing better blah blah and a lot of other people on the side were getting unfollowed by norvina they were getting blocked they were getting ignored so there was still a lot of damage done regardless of the fact that they did end up doing better that they, they did um, announce and say that they were doing something better and then right around brands being called out brands not being shady and not releasing statements only coming to release a black square around all of that time jackie aina posted on her instagram she said pull up or shut up and she said dear brands and corporations thank you for your public statements of support for the black community be conscious that to ignore the role you have played in and continue to play in depriving black people access to economic participation demonstrates a lack of genuine desire for lasting change so we ask brands who have released a statement of support to also publicly release within 72 hours the number of black employees they have at a corporate and executive level within the organization we call on everybody to stand in solidarity with us in holding brands and corporations accountable so for the next 72 hours do not purchase from any brand and demand that they release these figures ask them to pull up for change or shut up and retract their statement of support 72 hours is all we need to drive lasting economic change for black people stand up for change ask these brands to pull up or shut up all brands that have had partnership with me i challenge and highly encourage all of you to participate so after jackie you know posted that it was more or less a challenge to say hey while we're on this conversation of police brutality and how marginalized black people are if you're gonna tweet about black lives matter show us that you really care show us who is that executive level show us that you hire black people so don't come here and just give us an, a hashtag show us that you're really really there and with the shits so after she posted that anastasia beverly hills two days ago posted their figures so they first post was that inclusivity is a part of our mission at anastasia beverly hills and has been a core value since our founding we strive to live that value every day and we will continue to do so our community has taught us extensively about accountability during this time and we will continue to listen learn and improve Thank you and pull up for change for holding our company and our industry accountable. Hashtag pull up or shut up. And then they posted their figures, which was 61% of our employees ident identify themselves as people of color and 73% of them are women. 41% are Hispanic and Latina. 9% is Asian Pacific Islander. 6% is black. 5% is two or more races 35 percent is white four percent chose not to identify 51 percent of our leadership identify themselves as people of color and 61 are women 26 percent is hispanic and latina 15 percent asian pacific islander six percent black four percent two or more races 46 percent white and three percent chose not to identify so yeah they posted that and a lot of people were happy with that a lot of people were not happy with that and i just feel like genuinely you can't at this point in time you can't please everyone right so a lot of people are saying hey this brand is amazing they spoke up they donated they released their figures let's all move on and a lot of them are saying hey only six percent of those people are black people and there's rumors that you're not even treating those black people right so what is the truth so the reason for this video and i want to really say this because at first when all of this happened around the first of june 
I was gonna make a video about it but then I said no I'm not gonna make a video because really at the time you know people each and every company was getting called out and each and every company was coming back with the black lives matter hashtag and what they were donating and what they were doing so i really didn't feel the need to make a video because i said hey anastasia beverly hills norvina they got called out and they spoke about it and they realized their mistakes so it's fine it's fine it's great you know straight shady brand i probably won't be buying from them again but it's fine everything is great even with norvina's thread i was like okay at least they're donating at least they're doing something even though she messed up a little bit there but then okay then last night okay um around 9 p.m Tajia Reed posted a tweet on her Twitter and she said everyone asking me about what happened with me and Anastasia Beverly Hills I just posted it on IG support is appreciated so me being nosy I run over to Instagram and honey so when I get to Instagram you know she posted a series of screenshots there's nine screenshots in total and I'm just gonna read the whole thing to you because wow hey so on Instagram she said an open letter be careful who you let in in light of the state of the country and black people finally having the courage to hold those in power accountable and demand what they deserve in every industry but in my case the beauty industry I can't keep sitting on this I waited and prayed that people would do the right thing but thus far I've gone ignored not to mention after I went live about this at the beginning of the week or month I'm not sure and then the screenshots read standards and she said I've been alluding to this and hinting at this for months I've already spoken about it before but as nothing in my situation has changed it's time to talk about it again and this time permanently late last year i was struggling financially and had asked jackie aina if she knew of any brands looking to collab she put in a good word with norvina of anastasia beverly hills we all we all know this she mentioned it when she announced weeks later that i was to be the brand's first ever content creator she sent me a dm beforehand and asked me what i was looking for in terms of work i explained what type of work that I'd, i've done before for some other brands up to that point and stressed that i was looking for full-time work she said she could figure something out because she wanted to have me do work for the brand i had just gone viral thrice in a week for my tiktoks so all my social medias were blowing up great exposure for everyone cool she asked me what i charged i said 970 dollars per post she said that was great and told me someone would be in touch Norvina announced a few days before Halloween that I was to be the brand's first ever content creator on Twitter, asked if she could tag me and everything. A few days later was Halloween party in LA which I was attending so when I got my official offer from Natalia who runs PR emails for the brand offering me a thousand dollars per week for two pieces of content uh we'll get back to that in brackets but said that contract would come in a few days from a girl named robin as they were short staffed on setting up and finishing planning the party i said okay and i thought nothing of it i sent robin an email introducing myself and got an automated response because she was at a wedding and out of office first and foremost a thousand dollars for two pieces of content breaks down to 500 per piece of content which is not what i quoted but i said okay 1k a week pays bills i can save we can revisit and re-establish rate down the line when i'm situated never got to that point after the party i got a phone call from robin introducing herself this is where it started getting weird she still had no contract to send me 
It was now in the second week of November and I had no contract. She said, we don't like to make bad deals. So we'll wait until Mercury is out of retrograde before we do any business deals. Like in real ass life, I said, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. Thinking, eh, LA people are weird. I didn't get my contract until two days before Christmas. That was two months of waiting. In the meantime, Robin had me film and submit, which they were alternate nitpicking in editing a Christmas takeover. In that contract, all and I do mean all my creative rights were stripped. I wasn't allowed to post my own my own content without written consent from the brand they were to own it in perpetuity and gave themselves rights to duplicate my work and slap their name on it as the author without my consent i had my dad read it over he sent it to a lawyer who told me not to sign anything because the contract was predatory not only were my rights to my own work to be stripped something else was wrong the rates it started as a thousand dollars for four pieces of contract and i'm not as naive as not to pick up the language used here so i asked for clarification that one question had myself and robin emailing back and forth for months well into february i explained that was not what i was originally offered or what i had agreed to and what it sounded like and what it sounded like was that they were going to pay me a one-time fee of a thousand dollars for four pieces of content broken down that's 250 dollars for each piece of work content that i charge damn near a thousand for each she skirted my questions and got agitated the tone of some of her responses were clearly rushed and irritated that i wouldn't just sign the contract even though it was wrong in the midst of this i emailed and dm'd norvina you facilitated this deal you contacted me you are the ceo of the branch of this company so why are you missing in action i got no response ever throughout the entire ordeal in february another person was brought on to meditate because i was not budging this was not the deal we made i'm black not stupid so no no john hancock from me she was the one who eventually told me the coo will not allow us to make an open-ended deal for that amount of money and our needs as a company have changed so what we're offering you is a thousand dollars for four pieces of content i was also not paid for the work i'd already done until i signed that contract i expressed my frustration and anger at being led on and led in circles for months when i asked for them to cc norvina on the email thread so that she could clarify they ignored my request feeling rage roaded and like i had no other option i signed the contract and got paid a thousand dollars for two takeovers because i was still required to do my second takeover and fulfill the four items my second takeover they left up to four hours then deleted it i was so disgusted with my treatment and norvina blatantly ignoring me that i started to talk about it on twitter when i started gaining traction she sent me a message asking if she'd call me and uh, which i ignored which were what was there to say she messaged sandy heraldes and asked for my number and sandy called me and asked me if i would please talk to her so she called me and she said she had no idea what was going on which i called her to the carpet for how how the fuck do you not know what is going on in your own company she paid me a thousand dollars for my second takeover outright from her paypal and said she was going to investigate apologized and said she would call me back in a day or two with mothers and that was on march 23rd i have not heard from her since she's unfollowed my twitter i have received no new emails with updates or offers of work even though i was assured that they wanted to work with me in the future i'm still on pr though so i'm sure once this is posted that will change after hearing from former 
Anastasia Beverly Hills employees and other influencers who experienced similar treatment and seeing other black creators rush to defend her actions or the actions of the brand last week. In response to the black out and black lives matter movement, I couldn't stay silent anymore. I feared retribution and being blackballed and I still do. I don't want my career to end for telling the truth but I'm still really very hurt by how I was treated and I would be lying if I said I wasn't angry at being ignored and seeing people move like there isn't problematic shit happening is a no-go for me. I'm always I've always been transparent and honest. I have all the emails saved. I don't ever delete dealings with brands. Some of my friends and peers in the community have openly stated that they will not support the brand anymore and have messaged me to apologize for not listening to me when I spoke up about this months ago. I appreciate that. Listen to black women, support black people in general, but especially black women. I'm tired of being strong and silent. I'm tired of being tired. See, after I read that, I was enraged. I was mad. I was sad. I was completely flabbergasted because as much as we would like to believe that brands and people are for us most of the time they are not they were they were a hundred percent against us and if you look at that whole scenario of them stringing her along for months making her work for free while she while they were saying if you don't sign the contract we're not going to pay you who does that who does that and if you look at it, I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying, well, why would you work without signing a contract? I mean, come on. If you as a creator get a chance to be in partnership with a really, really big brand, knowing that it's going to accelerate your name and everything, wouldn't you start working with them right away? Like, I hate that people are having this dishonest chat and saying, well, you should have been smarter. Fuck that. She shouldn't have been smarter. The brand should just not have been slimy from the get-go. And another thing I wanted to um, talk about is the fact that I found these screen screenshots on Twitter of a former employee who spoke out about this company. She or he said, Anastasia Beverly Hills and specifically Claudia, which is Norvina, has had a long history with internal discrimination. In the time that I worked with them, there was only one employee of color. She was black. By the time I stopped working with them, she had been fired. This was right before that inclusive foundation line. For up to for up to two years after that, they did not hire a single black person internally. At some point, Claudia offered a job to me. It was not my job title as art director, which she gave to a male cinematographer with no experience, but in fact, instead as a social media manager to run the influencer campaign. When I asked why she would offer that to me, she said she wanted fresh eyes. I set my rate and, and that was not met, so I declined. She then hired a friend of mine at the rate I set initially. This friend of mine is a lesbian, I promise you this is relevant. Then let her know that she only hired her because she is a lesbian and will not hire pretty girls because it is distracting to the men. I had already turned down the same job. All of these incidences in the last year are not surprising to anyone that has been associated with her or her company. You are absolutely right in your instincts and people do not use the monkey emoji during the biggest civil unrest in 30 years on accident. I am no longer associated with this with the beauty community. I gain nothing by sharing this. Take this as you will. And I am more myself i am more inclined to believe this person because one they posted this anonymously two they said they're no longer part of the beauty community and three the way they talked about the employees being treated and it all coincides with the instagram post i just read you guys so i'm really more inclined to believe that this brand is not really for the people as they claim to be so i went over to the anastasia beverly hills instagram and i'm just gonna put the clip up here for you guys you can look through it yourself i mean 
it, it has a few people of color sprinkled out throughout but it's definitely not i would say it's, it's just not enough for me it's not enough for me to have a few black people sprinkled out your instagram i don't know how i feel about that but anyway so what i'm really happy about is that after tajia posted uh, her story on her instagram a lot of creators came to her support and i'll show you guys the tweets up here and a lot of those people speaking out were big names such as coco swatches jackie aina spoke out on her behalf desi perkins spoke out on her behalf cat sketch post posted uh, a comment there and then there was another post from another creator who said I remember when Norvina DM'd me and got me all excited, sent me an offer letter, then ghosted me, LMFAO. So that is like really shady because I really believe that more creators are gonna come out, more a lot more people are gonna speak out. I just feel like Tajia was the brave one to be the first to come out and say, hey, this this brand is not who you guys think they are. There's a lot of stuff going on, you know, behind the scenes. And so if this i'm not gonna say if this is true but i'm saying what i'm saying is there's a lot more people i believe that are gonna that are gonna come out with their stories whether it is positive whether it is negative i feel like this whole week this whole past two weeks has exposed a lot about a lot of people and a lot of people are still yet to speak out this is not the end but from my standpoint a brand is definitely cancelled i would not want to support a brand that is treating people like this they strung this girl along for so long they made they took her rate down and broke it down literally to 250 dollars per post when she damn near asks for a thousand per post like they lowballed her to no end as the days have gone by and Anastasia Beverly Hills has posted like a bunch of black creators on their Instagram which is such it's almost like a shock to your system it's like because there's like a whole bunch of black people on their page even though they have posted um black creators before so they posted like nine creators and then they said here are some amazing black creators that everyone should be supporting and following and Anastasia Beverly Hills wants to check out more black creators comment and tag your favorite black artist below and give them a shout out to promote their work and then they posted another one yesterday before everything went to shit they said some amazing black creators that everyone should support and follow same message as the last one and a lot of people in the comments obviously they're saying oh you're so amazing you're so great we love you thank you you're amazing and then most are saying but why only do this now why are you only promoting black creators specifically now and now it boils down to the point where is this pandering are you really doing this because you want to are you or are you just doing it because the world is watching and that i feel like is the biggest scariest thing about all of this is that there is no right or wrong way to handle the situation at this point because a lot of people are going to praise you for one thing and a lot of people are going to drag you down for another thing do I think the brand is completely cancelled? No. There's a lot of people who are still in their comments posting their looks. There are still people who are tagging Anastasia Beverly Hills. But do I think that they're going to have the same support that they had before from black creators? Especially after a black woman spoke out about how they treated her. I highly doubt it. I think it's going to take a long time for the brand to recover. And I genuinely hope that they start treating people better i genuinely hope that behind the scenes they start doing better because there's a lot of rumors and there's a lot of things floating around on twitter that i did not want to add to this video but if you go there you'll see it for yourself about employees about past people about norvina being friends with certain types of people you can deduct your own opinion on that but all i'm saying is brands definitely need to do better people need to do better in general and they should not use this moment to really pander to black people i would prefer a brand who was gonna say hey okay we didn't speak out about black lives matter but now we're speaking out about it and continue to go about their way then have a brand not speak out then speak out 
then delete stuff then put stuff on then just go on a black rampage and and put black people out um up on their black people up on their social medias like it just feels coerced and you didn't want to do it and you're just doing it for show so i don't want to see that i don't want to i don't want to be a part of that it's just it's stupid it's annoying so is the brand cancelled i don't know but but anyway if you enjoyed this video leave a comment below subscribe to my channel and we will see each other in my next video goodbye